good morning everyone and welcome to my presentation the soldier by hubert brook the soldier is a patriotic poem in this poem he tells about an english soldier rubert chavner brook was an english poet known for his idealistic war sonnets written during the first world war especially soldier wb eats described him as the handsome young man in england the soldier by robert brook even though british soldier felt a strong urge to fight in order to preserve and defend the world they know the horrors of the war increasingly led them to become disillusioned with their cause rubert brook wrote the poem at the beginning of the war when most soldiers believed in the justness of their cause and shout to reassure their families back home when the horror of world war 1 became widely known Brooks poetry suffered a loss of popularity. He died in 1915 from blood poisoning. He never saw combat. The Soldier by Robert Brooke. This poem was written by a journalist called Robert Brooke. It is a very famous poem and he wrote it to appear in the Times newspaper not long before he died during the war. he wrote it based on his experiences of speaking to soldiers and hearing the stories of soldiers who lost their lives during the war it is written from the view point of a soldier who has died thinking about the war and how he felt about it Robert Brooke was born in 1887. His father was a schoolmaster, his mother a clergyman's daughter. The world in which these things defined who you were, however, was rapidly changing, changing. From the age of 14, Brooke attended rugby and allied boarding school where his father was a housemaster. while brook excelled as a pupil he was more popular for his effort on the rugby and cricket fields at cambridge he chose to read classics relive it or not the study of greek and roman history culture and literature was a prestigious field pursued by many members of the elite greece and rome were seen as the most absent civilization ever on which britain's vast empire could and should model itself the influence of that idea can be seen both in brooks poetry and in his reputation as a short of later day greek hero it did not hurt that he looked the part why Brooke's degree was conventional his company and habit were far from it romantically interest in both men and women group joined gay discussion clubs and political and dramatic societies he also hung out with virginia woolf another future member of the bloomsbury group men and women who would lead literary and cultural experimentation in england both before and after world war 1 he wrote and published poetry and after graduation travel in europe the soldier by robert brook if i should die think only this of me that there is some corner of a foreign field that is for ever england there shall be in that rich earth a richer dust concealed 
a dust whom England bore shape made aware gave once her flower to love her way to grow a body of England's breathing English air washed by the rivers blessed by suns of hope and think this heart all evil shed away a pearls in the eternal mind no less give somewhere back the thought by england given her sight and sounds dreams happy as her day and laughter learned of friends and gentleness in heart at peace under an english heaven summary of the soldier the soldier is a patriotic poem in the form of sonnet composed by the great war poet named robert brooke he was born in england in 1887 and died in 1915 In this poem the poet describes the feelings of an english soldier who goes to a foreign country to fight for his own country he feels that the peace of foreign land where he will be buried in the case of death will be forever england he consider the peace of foreign land to be england because he was born and brought up in england he also expresses the sense of gratitude of his country for everything he got that example the flowers to smell the air to breathe according to him the surroundings of england is just like heaven as he says under an english heaven finally soldier is a patriotic poem The soldier explores the bond between a patriotic British soldier and his homeland. Through the soldier's passionate discussion of his relationship to England, the poem implies that people are formed by their home, environment and culture and that country is something worth to defend. Thank you.